um, like uh, earlier presented, um, autism is a disorder of uh, neurodevelopment, meaning that um, it's a disorder of the brain and some other functions. Um, you know, development is part of the brain and other functions. So a person suffering from this disorder has a defective communication, interaction, socialization, and their relationship. Meaning that the child having this, order, this disorder cannot communicate verbal or non-verbally, cannot interact with other person, and cannot, special, cannot socialize. So these persons are on their own. They have defective communication, interaction, and socialization. So this is um, what autism means. And then in addition to that, they have some other peculiar characteristics with which we recognize them, um, such as uh, some restrictive behaviors. They have uh, some body movements that as we call them stereotypies uh, in the form of they could have, a, it can come in different forms. Some um, are involved in moving their body parts, um, which is uh, in a kind of a repetitive and a similar pattern. They have some restrictive behaviors. They restrict themselves to certain behaviors in which daily, recurrently, they attach to that behavior. And uh, they cannot communicate, like I say, so they will not develop speech, they will not interact. They don't recognize anybody around them. They are on their own. And then um, autism is, is a spectrum, meaning that uh, there are two extremes. It could be a mild uh, a disease, and then uh, it could be, the, could be a severe form, and then in between. However, there is a minimum diagnostic criteria with which a person has to fulfill. So we have our tools, we have a checklist, we have certain screening tools that we apply to come up with the minimum diagnostic criteria for us to diagnose someone and see um, this person um, has autism. Uh, early features uh, could be, you know, when we talk of development, um, from infancy to toddler, there are certain um, characteristics. So by 18 months, we should be able to, to diagnose that, yeah, this child has some features, has features of autism. Because uh, at that time, you should expect um, some level of speech, you should expect some level of socialization, you should expect some level of interaction, you should expect some level of communication. So a child with autism would not develop all these things. And then they could have either autism alone or autism with some other problems. Some children who have other conditions like some other brain problem, epilepsies, um, ADHD and so on, they can come down with autism in addition. And then there are other diseases that looks like um, autism, but they are not autism. So um, that's why I made mention of uh, diagnostic criteria, which would be applied to come down with the diagnosis of autism. Uh, so um, as you talk about uh, the etiology, this is a disorder actually that uh, the etiology is not yet understood. When we say um, etiology is not yet understood, it's straightforward. There is no particular specific thing that you attach and say this is a cause. Like we know, we all know malaria caused by plaspodium, uh, species, mosquito, and all those things. So in autism, there is no particular etiology, single etiology that you single out and say this is the cause of autism. But there are other factors that are identified. First of all, the genetic coding, the genetic uh, uh, part of an <coughs> individual. If they had that genetic tendency to have autism, then he develops it. Then other factors, environmental factors, play a key important role also in developing autism. Um, some some of them like uh, yeah, some of them like uh, family setup. Sometimes uh, when a child is exposed to a harsh environment with the background genetic predisposition, it can tilt up. And then we have seen many children coming down coming from an, an environment where everything appears to be perfect for them also. So even from there you can see. So it has no boundaries actually. It can occur, it can affect any child of any race, any tribe, anywhere in the world. 
And then some children, like I said, with other brain problems like epilepsy, intellectual disabilities, they can come down in addition to their problem with autistic features with the need um, uh, intervention. So um, in summary, this is uh, just an introduction of, uh, of uh, autism.